Hey, what's up everyone? This is David and today I wanted to do a quick video that I normally don't post uh, during this time of the week but it's because we got the recent announcement for New Game Plus Expo that is coming on June 23rd, 2020, 9am Pacific Time and 12pm Eastern Time. I'll try to do a live stream so if you guys want to be there don't forget to click that subscribe button. And basically during this event there will be a stream presentation with tons of Japanese developers taking part in. Atlas West and Koei Tecmo especially will be part of the presentation and I wanted to do this small prediction video since I feel like we might get a few announcements that will concern us there. First of all, I'm very confident that we will see Personal 5 Scramble in this presentation when it comes to Atlas. There has been talk of a localization for the game for a while now and just a few days ago Play Asia listed P5S for Europe and North America for a 2021 physical release and this listing was obviously removed a few days after. I think there is much more than a simple coincidence there. I'll just straight up say it, P5S will be announced for the West on this presentation. I'm 85% certain of myself here. This is my main prediction for the event. And I was on a podcast with uh, the Midnight Channel, Fansite and Sp Spencer from SMT Network a few weeks ago. I think two or three weeks ago we were discussing P5R spoilers. And Spencer told us that he heard some insiders uh, in the industry and the SMT Megaton community tell him that P5S would be confirmed to be coming to the West in uh, an expo during the month of June. Uh, I'll put the podcast and the link to Spencer's channel in the description below uh, if you want to see exactly when he told us about that and I'll, I'll, he also said it in his last podcast for last week's podcast on his own channel so you can go check him out for that so he has the credit for the, for the leak. And I strongly recommend that you go listen to his, to his podcast, he makes really great content. Same thing for the Midnight Channel here. But basically, I'm pretty certain that we will get the confirmation for P5S localized. I don't know about the release date, I don't know if PlayAsia was right or not. Hopefully they, they, they were. Or it can always come sooner, of course. <laughs> now the other game that people are talking about is Shin Megami Tensei 5. As I said in this week DC Talk episode, I don't think we will get information soon about SMT5 and I really feel like next month is a bit too much in my opinion and too soon to expect news. But don't get me wrong, I would like to see the game there in any shape or form, I just don't feel like it's very likely. But if we see a teaser, if we see a trailer, if we get anything new about SMT5, I'm cool, honestly. And one last thing before I end this short video, I know that Grasshopper will be there as well and I want to drop a quick prediction that we will see no more Heroes 3 there. For the switch uh, especially since it's supposed to come in 2020 and we have not heard anything from them yet and also with the recent announcement that nintendo told their third-party developers to announce their game if they feel like it since there won't be any nintendo directs in a while so grasshopper and no more heroes no more heroes 3 is one of my bets for the switch but there's a lot of developers on that list that will be part of Game Plus Expo that will be there. So I'm confident that her Switch fans might get a few releases that will be pretty cool. I know that this was a very short video guys, but I really wanted to give my quick thoughts on the event and the announcement that we got today. Thank you so much for watching guys. And again, if you want to follow anything Atlas, SMT and Persona, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. It really helps to support me. Thank you for watching guys. Until next time.